Welcome future FIU Panthers. You have chosen to be part of a young, dynamic, and ever-growing university. And like those who paved the way for your opportunity, you will also get the chance to make a difference and be part of the FIU family. We believe in striving to be worlds ahead in all we do and taking that extra step to reach further, climb higher, and go beyond the world we know. But before we can do that, we should learn a little about where we came from. In 1965, Russian Alexei Leonov became the first person to walk in space. James Bond traveled to the Bahamas in his fourth movie, Thunderball. And 50 miles away, Florida International University was introduced as Florida Senate Bill 711. The bill was signed into law on June 22, 1965 by Governor W. Hayden Burns, and FIU was born. In 1969, Neil Armstrong and Buzz Aldrin walk on the moon, and the youngest university president in the United States, Charles Perry, stood on an abandoned airfield right here in this very spot and began to lay the foundations for FIU today. The airport tower became the university's first building, though it had no running water or furniture at the time. When FIU finally opened its doors in 1972, it set a record for the largest opening day enrollment in the country. This was also the year that the Miami Dolphins had a perfect undefeated season, and Atari released Pong, the first video game to achieve commercial success, paving the way for games as we know them today. Primera Casa, or First House, was FIU's first official building, and today still houses registration, admissions, and financial aid, the first stop for new FIU students. It was in this building that FIU held its first commencement ceremony in 1973, graduating 191 original Panthers, or Sunblazers as we were known back then. Two years later, in 1975, the computer software giant Microsoft is founded. By this time, there were six buildings on FIU's campus. Four were named in different languages and in the order that they were built. This was to represent the international vision of FIU. Primera Casa, Deuxième Maison, Oweihan, and Vierte's House. The Green Library was a three-story structure at this time, and the Graham Center was, as it is today, the student hub of campus. It was named in honor of Senator Ernest R. Graham, who paved the way for a public university in Miami-Dade. After six years of service to FIU, Charles Perry stepped down as president in 1975. The following year, Harold Crosby became FIU's second president, agreeing to serve a three-year interim term. That year, we witnessed the opening of the North Miami campus, known today as the Biscayne Bay campus. When it officially opened in 1977, BBC was home to 22 areas of study and more than 1,300 students. FIU's third president, Dr. Gregory Wolfe, took the reins of the university in 1979. A World War II veteran, Wolfe was a former intelligence analyst for the U.S. State Department and worked on the White House staffs of John F. Kennedy and Lyndon Johnson. By 1981, as MTV was playing music videos nonstop, FIU finally admitted its first freshman class. Up until this point, the university had been for juniors and seniors only, but we were now a full four-year university. One year later, our men's soccer team makes FIU sports history by beating Southern Connecticut State to win the school's first national title in any sport. Michael Jackson made his own kind of history that year, releasing his iconic album, Thriller. Apple introduced the first Mac in 1984. The same year, FIU introduced its first two student residence halls, one at BBC and one at the Tamiami campus. Also that year, the university began offering doctoral degrees. In 1986, Modesto A. Medique, an MIT-trained engineer and businessman, became FIU's fourth president and an era of rapid growth began. This was about the same time as the first laptop was introduced by IBM, and the Human Genome Project was first launched. The university underwent the first of many changes in 1987, adding the School of Computer Science, moving from a Division II athletic program to Division I, and retiring the Sunblazer mascot in favor of the Golden Panther. In 1988, FIU unveiled its official seal, which is inscribed with the motto, Spes Scientias Faculta, Latin for hope, knowledge, and opportunity. It's the same seal that's still printed on every diploma today. In the spring of 1992, President George H.W. Bush visited FIU, declaring the university had come of age, or as he famously put it, They won't be asking F.I. who anymore. Never again. Just three months later, Hurricane Andrew roared across South Florida, decimating the university campus and the surrounding area. The FIU community jumped into action, delivering more than 350,000 pounds of food, clothing, and supplies to people in affected areas. Scientists cloned the first mammal in 1996, and eBay opened for business. By this time, FIU boasted 93 masters and 21 doctoral programs. 
In addition, the university purchased the building that would become its engineering center, less than two miles away from the main campus. FIU opened its College of Architecture in 97, which became the university's first traditional professional school. It was the same year that the first book in the Harry Potter series was released in the United Kingdom. In 1998, the expansion of the Stephen and Dorothea Green Library was completed. The building immediately became one of the most recognizable symbols of the university. FIU Online was also launched that year, and Google began helping us navigate the internet. In July of 2000, Vermont became the first state to legalize civil unions for same-sex couples. In Florida, the state legislature finally approved FIU's very own law school, and it remains to this day the only public law school south of Gainesville. Two years later, FIU football plays its first game, winning 27-3 in front of a sellout crowd. After some challenging years, the team finally earned its first bowl bid in 2010, winning the Little Caesars Pizza Bowl in thrilling fashion, thanks in part to a play that's been dubbed the Motor City Miracle. In 2006, the Herbert Wertheim College of Medicine at FIU was founded to serve our community as South Florida's only public medical school. Also in 2006, the School of Hospitality and Tourism Management opened a campus in Tianjin, China. 2008 was a busy year for the Panthers. FIU Stadium, or the Cage, rose from a small 7,500-seat stadium to a 25,000-seat structure worthy of big-time college football. The Frost Art Museum celebrated the opening of its new 46,000-square-foot building, designed by world-renowned architect Jan Weyman, the same guy who helped design the Louvre's glass pyramids in Paris. Elsewhere around the world, life imitated art as Lady Gaga became a household name after the release of her album, The Fame. By the year 2009, FIU boasted more than 40,000 students, and the university's physical footprint had tripled in size under 23 years of President Maydeek's visionary leadership. Dr. Maydeek spent his last day as president welcoming the 43 students who would make up the inaugural class of the Herbert Wertheim College of Medicine. Barack Obama became the nation's first African-American president in January of that year. And in August, after an intense national search, Mark B. Rosenberg, a former faculty member and administrator, was installed as the university's fifth president. This same year, the School of International and Public Affairs was founded, solidifying FIU's root vision of greater international understanding by bringing together all of FIU's international programs. 2011 saw the events of the Arab Spring grip the world, and a boy named William married a girl named Kate. Closer to home, FIU continued to expand its footprint with a downtown Brickle location and a studio on South Beach to complement the Wolfsonian Museum. From a twinkle in the eye of Ernest Graham to one of the 10 largest American universities, FIU has come a long way in its short history. The next chapter is now in your hands. What will you make of this amazing opportunity? We can't wait to find out.